Sagittarius, welcome back to Emperor's Light to Row. It's me, Tony, your spiritual guide. <laughs> three of Pentacles and Three of Cups. I actually just finished Scorpio's reading. They had a 333 three, three synchronicity with the Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So it lo looks like you may have some sort of a success in relationships as well or collaborations. Let's get into it. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. Highest messages of love and life for our Sagittarius collective today, spirit. What can you relate through the cardomancy in regards to love and romance for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know in regards to the matters of the heart? Please and thank you. All right, so hopefully you guys have been having a good day. We got the weekend coming up. Be careful out there. Hopefully you guys enjoy your weekend as well. Let's see what your reader can relate through the cardomancy today. We got a, fl a f yeah a flipper, <laughs> the full card Aries energy. All right, so a new adventure or a leap of faith here. I do see the King of Wands. Yeah, dealing with heavy fire sign energy. This could be passion. We got another flipper. The Three of Pentacles comes out anyways. Yeah, someone wants to take a leap of faith uh, into collaborating with you. Yeah, this could definitely be a relationship with this being a love reading. I'm getting it's time. Pentacles represent time for me as well. All right, we'll get one more shuffle and we'll start your reading, Sagittarius. The Fool, number zero in the Major Arcana. Also a shaman here. I see this person has a pet with them. Usually the Fool does. They're a minimalist as well. The rose in his hand. This may be a fool for love here. But again, Aries energy taking leap, taking a leap of faith. This could be a new adventure for some or just someone that's very, they have a lot of strong faith. But they're ready for a new course of action here. About to get ready to walk off the side of this mountain, right? <laughs> they look very jovial. Uh, doesn't really look like they have a lot of care in the world. Small backpack. And the three of pentacles either teaching or learning here but definitely a collaboration this could also be someone working on their finances right a future master or something like that for me the three of pentacles is, is a is a prodigy right and so once you get towards further down the pentacles that's more mastery right being more consistent but this could be some something that someone wants to build with you here let's get into the next message the world card yeah closing out or the opening up of a cycle right completion I'm even getting renewal for some. You know what I saw today? I saw that movie Love. Well, I didn't see it. I saw the reaction, right? I saw uh, Love Don't Cost a Thing. <laughs> we have the here font marriage. Yeah, so someone's seeking out a new cycle with you, possibly wanting to travel with you here with the world, and then um, marriage here. The higher font symbolizes spiritual systems, religious systems, possibly even political systems, governmental societies and systems. Um, we do have the sanctity of marriage here. Yeah, these people working together in this card and then these people being united together here in this card as well. Sorry about the upside down. I don't read upside down energy, but I can pick up whatever negative or toxic energy is permeating the reading. So far, I'm getting positive energy. I'm getting a lot of safe energy as well. The Empress, yeah. Libra and Taurus energy. The Hierophant is Taurus as well. So you could definitely be dealing with a Taurus right now or a high value individual that's headed towards you. They're taking a leap of faith towards you. Mm -hmm. Very good energy here. The Magician manifesting this here. Mm -hmm. A lot of strong potential, a lot of strong will, right? Again, as above, so below energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a uh, a Virgo. This is a very intentional individual here. Purples, yeah. The purple throw or garb. You could be dealing with either a, a very virgin like individual, very pure. Um, I'm also getting with the purple, what is that? The crown chakra energy? I mean, they have the infinity symbol at the top of their head, so they receive a lot of divine messaging, or this person is working well within their power and even being very authentic. Yeah, they're wrapped in purple here as well. Mm hmm. 
very virgin like right don't have no clothes on just out there with the birthday suit on <laughs> so not really a care in the world just like the fool very lackadaisical energy right and uh, some some form of acceptance it also reminds me of how there's there's someone out in the world for everyone and then we see the marriage here right I mean, you know, the divine counterpart, the only other person that can match with the empress is the emperor, right? We have her not too far behind from one another. The other one always tends to follow up. Let's clarify the three of pentacles, the ace of swords, the truth. Mm -hmm. So the truth is setting in here. Or this could be some sort of a divine message in heading towards you. Or well, the truth of the situation is that, you know, someone's definitely wanting to. They're wanting to collaborate with you here, whether it's marriage or they're wanting to have a conversation with you. I'm getting shedding light on the situation, right? Again, this could be seen as learning or, or teaching, and this would be, you know, the shedding of that light or the passing of that information or that knowledge or the understanding. This Ace of Swords to me is understanding, right? Perception and having your own POV and that sort of thing. Again, you could be dealing with an air sign. Empress is Libra. Gemini here and uh, the Magician. Let's go ahead and clarify the world card, which is Sagittarius for me, Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting, um, what's that song kids used to sing about? Ooh, this was about, this was like, was this a church song? Yeah. He got the whole world in his hands or something like that. Or this could be the way that um, this person that's coming towards you, the way they feel about you. Now, Four of Pentacles does symbolize uh, saving or like uh, being cheap. It could also be a self-investment as well, right? Playing things close to the chest or close to the heart. It actually feels like someone, it feels like a hair fun energy. Or someone that has something to stand on, he's standing on his pinnacles. So we could have a very independent person. It reminds me of um, it reminds me of an introverted extrovert. <laughs> Sounds weird, right? An introverted extrovert, huh? If you get what I'm throwing down, I don't really want to explain it too much, but yeah. I used to be like that. I can be like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be like that in the future, but I'm a social butterfly. It's just, it just takes not with everyone, right? You can't just give that energy to anyone. Again, another Bible reference. You don't just cast your pearls before swine, right? You vet people, right? Let's clarify the hair font. Just like you don't marry just anyone. Just like you just don't follow any church or any re religious or spiritual leader. Right? Two of swords block communication. This could be online communication like social media. Or this could be someone um, not being able to make a clear-cut choice. Maybe they don't, they're, they don't want to accept the truth, or they just don't have the wherewithal or the understanding to accept the truth at this time. Now, for me, it also reads as, as in a kidding manner, but, you know, for real, though, as someone that they don't have accurate vision, right? The thing is covering their eyes, so it's someone that wears glasses or wears contacts. It comes out on top of the hair font. Which is a teacher, right? Most teachers, it's funny because a lot of teachers, right, they wear glasses or contacts. Let's see. Um, let's clarify the Empress. The Queen of Pentacles. That's very interesting, right? The Queen of Pentacles clarifying the Empress. The Empress usually appears pregnant. And the Queen of Pentacles is the mother or the wife of all the queens. Mm -hmm. Very abundant. Again, this person may even be a business owner or entrepreneur herself because it's I'm looking at it as two feminine presence on this card, but it could be a masculine as well. Right. Daddy daycare and that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Even the hair font. I mean, they say women traditionally weren't able to lead churches or be leaders or that sort of thing. Right. Times are a changing. Let's look at what we have here. So very positive energy. It looks like you have a very responsible individual headed towards you, I would want to say, or they're very fertile or something like that. They're very um they're very protecting, they're very supportive to a fault, maybe maybe even. Um oh yeah, so it reminds me of a mother. Although she could see all the flaws within you, she's she's still gonna accept you, right? Which is what a lot of men actually value in women, right? It's not really the looks. 
it's your personality, right? Are you going to be nice to me? Are you going to support me? Are you going to nurture me, right? We're not looking for mommies. We're looking for, right, true feminines. <laughs> Uh, major arcanas, some of the best, if you ask me. The fool, right? Nonchalantly adventuring off into something new. I mean, if it's a love relationship, if you want to experience the highest of highs of love, you can't go into it boxing love in a certain, you know, a certain expectation. You got to be able to be surprised by the universe, right? The world card, travel, right? You know, me as a traveler or just as a, uh, Someone that likes to learn something new every day, right? The world always has something to teach you, especially if you're traveling. Right? Strong fire sign energy. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius. And then we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Right? This could be a uh, religious leader or something like that. Mm, someone very spiritual. Or uh, someone with a lot of integrity, a hard worker, an entrepreneur. Taurus, Earth sign energy. We even have more Earth sign energy here. Double Taurus in the Empress, right? Also Libra, but the Empress is like, she's like the mother of the Terra, right? This is the ultimate divine feminine, mm -hmm. right? Very creative, very popular, uh, very powerful. Mm. The Magician, Virgo and Gemini. So yeah, there's a lot of um, earth sign energy here in this reading, a lot of air sign energy as well. For you, Sagittarius, the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it's understanding, a new perspective. This could even be a download here. Someone here is very spiritual or religious. Mm, what else do we have? The only other thing I want to mention. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone's gaining new leadership. Someone's coming into someone's life to bring new leadership. It could be, it could be maybe some, not necessarily control, but some sort of a guidance too three four like teaching them how to be more um, secure or more confident or something like that or um, maybe someone always cared about what people say or something like that and someone's trying to teach someone um, not to do that right just be more authentic right we know we have to live in this world with other people and sometimes we might even have to have to impress other people but at the end of the day be yourself right and yeah, sometimes you change. You're not going to be the same person you was 28 at, as you was at 18, right? We evolve, right? <laughs> the core of you stays the same usually. It's just your expression or your outward uh, experience or appearance changes. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Did I already read this energy? Seven of Wands. Yeah, protect yourself. Someone very guarded is coming towards you or some, uh, someone that wants to protect you is coming Maybe this person has already built some sort of a fame, success, or wealth for themselves. I, I think they keep to themselves a lot. Again, it's giving off that rumple still skin type energy. And then you see the Empress, right? <laughs> right? The chariot shows up. Cancerian energy, more nurturing energy, fatherly or motherly. There could be distance in this relationship where this person is rushing towards you. They're rushing towards you to protect you. A lot of willpower here. The Ace of Wands, the so two Aces, Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands, my multiple sex positions combination. But this could be new inspired uh, action, passion, creativity, new beginnings, mm -hmm. chemistry even. The Five of Pentacles, more physical displacement or change up in the finances, the home life or one's comfort level. Page of Cups, the crush and then the strength. DNA, uh, be very beautiful inwardly or outwardly or just having a strong uh, constitution. The seven of wands, right? This could be someone that goes to the gym a lot. Ace of wands. This chariot figure usually appears to be very strong. Perseverance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this could be the strong connection, a strong relationship. Dynamics that you guys have, like having boundaries and um, that sort of thing. Um, or this could be just individually. You guys are both very beautiful and strong people possibly come from a very strong background mm -hmm. yeah more infinity symbols again yeah you're very spiritual or something like that like you have a strong you're authentic but it's something else it's like people can't sway you from your own thoughts like people can't control your mind right <laughs> yeah that's what i'm getting 
for you, Sagittarius. It makes sense, right? Sagittarius is our leaders. Most fire signs are leaders. I'll get your break deck message and we'll end out this reading. The Nine of Cups and the Ten of Swords. <laughs> so the Nine of Cups is independence, right? It's wish fulfillment and comfort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's success in the emotions or just, you know, whatever success is to you. Now, the Ten of Swords could be the hard work being put in a situation. It could even be the energy around you at this time, right? Gossip and rumors. A lot of this could be the, the way that people are is wanting you to feel, right? But this is what you truly feel on the inside, right? So, yeah, it, it, I don't know why it feels that way to me. The Ten of Swords is also completion. It's tough times as well. It could be overthinking for some or um, brainstorming. So, yeah, this could also be the person that's coming towards you. Either this is you or this is the way they're viewing you. And this is them for whatever reason. It could be like love drunk or love sick or something like that. Maybe they're trying to keep from love bombing you. It's like they're trying to it's hurting them to hold back their thoughts and their emotions, possibly, or their sexual uh, desires for you. Very interesting channel message here. Yeah. This may even be a chance to receive some sort of a spiritual or some sort of a spiritual or emotional healing or physical healing, right? So yeah, healing sex or something like that. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even with the hierophant here, that is like baptism. Mm -hmm. Alright. And that is what I have for you here today. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, Sagittarius. Very good energy for you. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.